Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how to make these very simple and very pretty paper egg carton roses. And what you're going to need is an egg carton. Uh, my camera was kind of uh, messing up here so I've already started. I've made two um, out of one dozen eggs on a um, cardboard egg carton. You're going to be able to get six of these beautiful roses. All right, so I've already gotten some started here, but I'll show you how to cut these apart on this last little portion here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna carefully tear these pieces apart like so. My hands are a little sore today, so it's a little difficult for me to get done, but we'll get her done. All right, and then you're gonna take these. Now let's just do this raw edge here. You're gonna to wanna to get rid of this. There. When they press these, they're harder than the other sides. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these. Now, they're gonna look a little wonky. Don't worry about that. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna make these little cups. Okay. So four of these little cups will get you two roses. And I saved this because I want to show you where the um, where the sections are that you'll need to make really pretty centers. Okay, so let's set these aside here and just work with these over here. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this right here and you're just going to Fold this down. Now on this one, obviously this was a corner, so you'll have to fold that down. Again, don't worry that they look wonky, because we're going to fix that right now. We're just going to tear it and then make it into some even sections. And you know, roses aren't perfect when they come out of the ground. So then you're going to flatten them like that. Then we're going to turn them a little bit. And again, we'll be able to fix anything that looks a little weird, like, you know, these little doohickeys there, but most of it's going to be hidden, okay, by the other part. Now this one looks pretty ragged, but we're going to be able to fix this too. So we'll go like this, we'll go like that, and then this one. We'll just go right down the center. Now that looks like a hot mess, but I'm going to take this and we're going to even it out. Put that down. Tear that down rather. And that. Okay. So now, oh, forgot to tear this one. Okay, so now we've got these looking like this. Okay, now that looks a little ratty there, but it doesn't matter because we're going to put one and we're gonna stagger it. So this one is going to go right there. I'm gonna get our hot glue. You wanna be liberal with this. I'm using a low melt, high temp gun, but it's got low melt, um, very hot glue. <laughs> okay. I'll just kind of arrange that like that. Okay. Now for this, we're going to take these in sections. You're going to go from here to here. And let's just do it so that you so that we can see what we're doing. We want to take all of this and carefully cut this around. Why do I keep saying cutting? <laughs> we're tearing. We are tearing. And then we're going to tear it this way. And then 
we're going to just roll this. Well, preferably not with the writing. <laughs> so we'll turn it around and we'll tear. We'll uh, we will roll it. We may be tearing it later, but we'll see. We'll see if this is too tall for the rose. Nope, I don't think it is. So we're going to take this. Oh, it's about half an inch or so. You could make it a little bit tinier like I did to these, okay? And the profile looks like that. But they're going to be so striking and beautiful that nobody is going to know. So we're going to put glue here, and we're going to put it liberally. And then we're going to just watch this naturally unfold. See how pretty that is already? And then we'll just kind of squish this in. And what I like to do is I like to make really tight centers. I'm gonna just hold it with the tweezer until it uh, sets up. Now you do need hot glue with this. You won't be able to use uh, the regular like school glue or anything like that because you want this to set up really quickly. Now isn't that pretty? It looks a little too square for my taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tear it. this. And you just kind of play with it until you get it to where you want it. I don't know why this one's looking a little wonky, but we can cover that up with paint, or I suppose I can just glue it because it's going to bug me. Now, you probably should use just regular glue if you're going to glue these down. But for the center and to tack these down quickly, you want to use hot glue. But really, this is just pressed paper, so you can use paper glue as well. All right, and there we have one rose. I know I keep playing with it, <laughs> but you want to be able to fan these out until you like what you see. And you can always tear this as well. All right, there you go. Now that's still looking a little too square for me, so I will continue to work with it until it makes me happy. <laughs> All right. I think I think when we put little leaves on it, it'll look great. And in a bouquet, look how pretty that is. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, when you want to continue doing the uh, last um, two roses, or the last three roses, remember, out of one carton of uh, an eggshell carton, you get six roses so it's two per rose and then for the other sections you will take it here and rip this I'll just show you this real quickly and then right here And here is the last one. Now, of course, you don't want these this wide. The width that you want it is going to be, well, let's just do this. Some egg cartons have these little squares like mine. 
and some don't. So you want to cut these in half. So I suppose you could get more than you need out of these. But. So, and then again, you're going to fold it and you're going to place it in the center. So I'll go ahead and I will cut the rest of these. And if you mess up, if you cut these in half, you just roll those two. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And that will make a nice center. This one's a little wonky. I don't think I'm going to use this. So I think I will use these three. I'll take off this little barcode here. And we'll use these if we need them for scraps or leaves. Okay, so should we make one more? I think we should. Let's take this one. And again, we're going to tear these down the middle and make four little sections. Could use a scissor but I think this looks a little bit more organic and I like that better. And what you can do is you can paint this with gesso which is just a little um, it, it helps you to hear adhere acrylic paint or any kind of paint actually except oils in my opinion um, but you can use alcohol inks after gessoing it. So, and you can paint it any way you like. So just take whichever one you like better, match it up. And let's see here. I think we'll go with this. Now remember, you can cut leaves, you know, just Cut them in the shape of a leaf, and you can cover up any squareness that you might not like. So what you do is you stagger it until you get it to where you want, and then just kind of mold it as you go. So we'll just do one more, and we'll take this, and we will take off the barcode. And we'll start rolling it. And when you roll it tightly like this, it will naturally unfold and it will uh, it will give just a really pretty um, detail to the rose. So I like to glue both parts while they're still wet. Stick that in there and let it unfold. I just think that looks so pretty. And again, if you want a tighter center, just hold it with a tweezer until your glue sets. I'm going to put something in the center of this and puff it up a little bit. So I'm just going to curl this in here and make it look like it's just blooming. And 
every single one of these that you do will be different. And of course, you can continue to shape these any way you like, just by tearing down the sides. See how pretty that is. There you go. And we have four. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending time with me today, and I hope you stop back soon.